Hello students, today we're going to start our lesson in estimation. We are also going to continue estimation tomorrow as well. So our first thing we're going to be learning is using rounding to check the reasonableness of sums and differences. So sums and differences, what are those? Sums are when you add, differences are when you subtract, right? So think of sums, you're going to sum up all the numbers, right? Sum it all together. And differences, you're trying to find out how different they are, so you subtract them. All right, in the example, Eva's Market sold 196 jars of grape jelly in September. In October, the market sold 389 jars. How many jars of grape jelly did they sell over the two months? So you want to know how much all together. So usually when you want to find out kind of like keywords, how much how many jars did they sell over the two months? You want to find out the total. So you're going to be adding. So they already have the problem here for you. 196 plus 389, you're adding the jars for September, you're adding the jars for October, and you get 589. This is your answer. They sold 585 jars of grape jelly all together. That means you added them all together. Okay? Now, what we're going to be doing is estimating to check that your answer is reasonable. So what is reasonable? You wrote it down yesterday. But reasonable, um, an estimate is reasonable, <laughs> an estimate is reasonable if it's close to the actual answer. So we're going to, in this example, we're going to be using rounding to check that this answer is correct and it's reasonable and it makes sense. So how we're going to do that is we're going to take the two numbers, 196 and 389, and we're going to round them to the nearest 100. And then we're going to add them together. So 196 rounded to the nearest 100, remember what you do for rounding. You underline the place value that you're rounding to, in this case the hundreds, the one is in the hundreds place, remember ones, tens, hundreds, so the one is in the hundreds place and you circle the digit to the right, the nine. Now remember your jingle, four or less, let it rest, five or more, increase the score. Well, a nine is five or more, so we would increase the number of the one by one, and it becomes 200. You do the same thing for 389, you circle the place value in the hundreds place, and circle the digit to the right. Now, eight, eight is five or more, so we increase the score. 389 becomes 400. Now that we've rounded to the nearest 100, we're going to add just like we did for the actual problem. So what is 200 plus 400? Well, that's easy. All you have to do, 2 plus 4 is 6, so it's 600. Now, is 600 close to 585? Yes, they're very close. They're only 15 apart. So we know that our answer, 585, is reasonable. We've rounded, we've made sure the rounding answer is close to the actual answer, so we've double checked our work and we know that we're close. Okay, so we're gonna do a practice problem together. <clears throat> All right, so here it says find the difference, that means subtraction, find the difference, then use rounding to check that your answer is reasonable. Round each number to the nearest hundred. You have to make sure you pay attention to what you're rounding to, or else you'll get the answer wrong. Okay, so we have the problem, 786 minus 453. Our first step of the problem is just to solve. So when you're solving subtraction, you wanna make sure you line it up vertically. So 786 minus 453. 6 minus 3 is 3, 8 minus 5 is 3, 7 minus 4 is 3. It is 333, okay? Now, second part of the problem. Estimate to check that your answer is reasonable. Round each number to the nearest 100. So you have 786, let's round that one first. Which number is in the hundreds place? The 7, you underline it. Now look to the digit to the right. There's an eight. Five or more increase the score. The seven becomes an eight. So it's 800. Same 
same thing for 453. There's a four in the hundreds place, so we underline the four, we circle the digit to the right, it's a five. Five or more increase the score. The four, we increase the score, it becomes 500. Now, we need to find the difference between these two numbers. We subtract, what is 800 minus 500? Eight minus five is three, 300. Now, is 300 close to 333? Yes, they're very close. So, your answer is reasonable. So that's all there is to it. So that's checking reasonableness with rounding. You can also check if your number is reasonable by using front end estimation. So use front end estimation. One second. There we go. Use front end estimation to check the reasonableness of sums and differences. Remember, sums, adding, differences, subtracting. So we have a number, 7,840, and we're subtracting 3,622. So that's the difference, subtracting difference. So the first thing you do in one of these problems is you actually solve. So you actually need to subtract. And they found the answer was 4,218. They've already done it in this one for us. Now, we want to estimate using front end estimation do not round if it asks for front end estimation you need to use front end estimation because you'll get different answers if you round depending on um, the number so make sure you pay attention to the directions so estimate to check that your answer is reasonable now remember when we're using front end estimation all you do is circle the leading digit the leading digit is the digit that's in the front and then you add zeros to the rest of the number so 7,840 just becomes, take all those away, put zeros in, just becomes 7,000. It doesn't matter that 7,840 would actually round to 8,000. We are not rounding. We're using front end estimation. We're looking at the front end of the number and then we're adding zeros. That's why we call it front end. So 7,840, circle the seven, add zeros. 3,622. Circle the three, add zeros, okay? So your numbers are 7,000 minus 3,000. Now we solve. Seven minus three is four. Is 4,000 close to 4,218? Yes, they're both 4,000. I know we're dealing with bigger numbers, so there's gonna be a bigger difference, 218, but they're pretty close, so we know that our answer is reasonable. The estimated difference is 4,000 so that means that the answer 4,218 is reasonable. We're going to do a practice problem with front end estimation. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So even in directions, the sum, we know we're adding, and we know we're not rounding, we're using front end estimation. Using front end estimation, check that your answer is reasonable. So first things first, if we have this problem, we need to solve. We have to have an answer to check if that answer is reasonable. So we put it in vertical form, 6,572 plus 8,144. We add them together, 2 plus 4 is 6. 7 plus 4 is 11, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 6 plus 8. Okay, so the answer is 2,716. Okay, now, now we can check that our answer is reasonable after we've solved. So we're using front end estimation. Remember, you just circle the leading digits, 6 and 8, and then add zeros. This becomes 6,000, this becomes 8,000. It's actually a lot easier than rounding. You don't have to do as much work. You just have to remember to look at the leading digit and add zeros. All right, now that we've done that, we have 6,000 plus 8,000. What is six plus eight? Six plus eight is 14. And then we add the zeros, 14,000. Is 14,000 close to 14,716? Yeah, they're both 14,000. So we know this answer 
is reasonable. All right, now you're going to practice these on your own.